This here is my latest finished project. It is a model of the Type Zero bullet train from Japan's Shinkansen rail network. This here is the original style of bullet trains and it's the one that gave it all its name because of its bullet shaped nose. So this set here was one of the inexpensive play art models sold by Model Power. Now originally this was painted in a pretty terrible Amtrak paint scheme. I don't have any before photos but uh, just so you have some reference of what it looked like, here's a shot I found on Google. The picture makes it look better than it is. The um, paint separation between the black and silver in places was extremely fuzzy. And those colored Amtrak stripes are actually just pull and peel stickers. So, you can see here, I have it painted to look a lot more realistic in the original coloring. I stripped all the old paint off, at least as much as I could, did some standing and other things to make it look better. Then painted it um, blue, did some masking, and then did the white over that. And then um, hand painted each of the windows all around here with aluminum. And then gave the whole thing a semi-gloss clear coat. And the roofs come off, so they were very easy to paint silver, no masking required. Same for the chassis, which separates right where these lines are. So I could just spray that blue with no need for masking. Made that very easy. Now those of you who are very familiar with these trains may notice that I don't have the blue stripe centered over the windows. I originally tried that, but after comparing to the photos and taking some detailed measurements and any other reference I could to get the paint just right, I found that um, Play Arts model is actually not especially well proportioned, and I decided to go with the um, correctly spaced and sized um, blue striping instead of trying to match the windows, which I think made it look better than if I had tried to lower that blue stripe. And painting the front here was interesting, getting that masking done. I couldn't quite figure out what to do for a long time until I got my 3D printer and thought, hey, why not try 3D printing a masking template? So I did, and placed that down on the masking tape, trimmed around the edges, and got a pretty nice clean cut there. I think that turned out pretty well. This came as an unpowered set, although it was in mint condition, never removed from the boxes, and yet I only got it for about $30, which was a pretty amazing deal, considering that there are apparently some people trying to sell used, halfway broken ones for hundreds of dollars, which I would never pay for one of these sets, because they're honestly not worth that much. And I'm totally fine with the fact that I had gotten this one unpowered because from my understanding and previous experience with Play Arts um, drive systems, they're pretty bad. And for the one video I could find of one running, it was about as noisy as you could possibly get. So instead to power this in one of in this first um, electrified car here with the pantograph, I installed two Lindsay L140 power trucks, which I also managed to get a really good deal on. About $15 a piece for those, which is amazing. I cut up the frame to hold those, added a big lead weight inside of there so it's got some weight and traction, and um, upgraded that to eight wheel electrical pickup. All the couplers have been body mounted. There are KD number fives to replace the original and extremely large hook and loop couplers that were on there before. As for the unpowered cars, I replaced all the plastic wheels with precision scale nickel wheel sets, which look a lot better and roll better. Did some tuning to the trucks with the Micromark truck tuner, which also improved operation. And I added the headlight to the front of each one. I don't have a reverse light in there at this point. I may do that eventually. 
And at the moment I only have four wheel electrical pickups, so it's not super stable on um, maintaining the light going around the track, but it does well enough for now. And like I said before, I may upgrade that later. And one other thing that some of you may notice is that in a lot of the photos, you'll see the, and actually most of the models too, instead of a bright pure white, you'll see more of an off-white or even a yellowish color. And after looking through as many photos as I could find of ones that were freshly painted versus ones that are in service, I'm pretty sure that the ones that were more yellow was because of um, just being in the sunlight and having their paint faded and um, getting dirty over time. And then one other thing is that the front cover here, um, Play Art used this as the main headlight on the thing, but from what I found out, this is actually a coupler cover not a headlight, and it was a removable piece. So because of that, um, well, when the trains needed to be linked end to end, they would just take those covers off, link them together with the coupler underneath. And a lot of times those will be even more yellow and discolored than the rest of the paint. So I think that may be why Play Art mistook them for a headlight. But in reality, it's just these lenses on each side that are the headlights. So I painted that solid white to make sure no light can get through. And I think that the results of this set are very good. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Even though I didn't get all the stripes perfectly straight, you can't really see it at most angles. And it's a very, very smooth runner. The current draw of the Lindsay Motors is pretty high, and it's using almost an amp right now with those two motors plus the current draw of the headlight. Those motors do run smoothly though, they don't make too much noise, and at top speed, it's almost a match to the um, realistic top speed of 210 to 220 kilometers or 130 to 137 miles per hour that these ran. So there it is, my full bullet train set. I think it painted up very nicely. It runs very nicely. And I got it for a total fraction of the cost for what I would have paid for a high quality model made of brass or even just one of the high quality plastic models that may be available.
Oh